Welcome back to the dirty shop or the dirty house or dirty yard or wherever I'm at because I'm going to be messy. But uh, today I'm going to be putting insulation on the bottom of the trailer so my tootsies don't get cold this winter. It's summer right now, so I certainly don't need the insulation. But when it gets cooler uh, and it's, you know, September, so we're creeping into the cold months, it'll be nice to have our feet stay warmer. So the idea is I'm going to cut out sections of this insulated foam paneling and I'm going to glue them onto the bottom of the trailer with liquid nails interior exterior the heavy duty kind because i want it to be as strong as i can and then i'm going to use some angle brackets to help hold that up to the bottom of the trailer i'll just screw those to the frame or wherever i can and i might even put some screws through the material itself i'm using the polyurethane foam board with the foil backing on it because i had it uh, otherwise i would be using the white foam the polyurethane with the foil is actually much better insulation by a you know half again better than the uh, white stuff, but it's also twice as expensive. So I don't normally use it for projects like this uh, just because the cost wise, I happen to have this from a previous project. And so I'm using it for this job. I just didn't have enough to do the interior of the trailer when that came up. So I didn't use it for that part, but uh, I've got all that. I got a roll, a couple rolls of duct tape here uh, because I love duct tape and it's my friend. And I want to use it all the time. Although I may not use it on this because it's probably just not going to be necessary. But if I need to, I'll tape around the outside edges and I'll be good to go with that foam is not coming out. And I'm, that way I don't have to worry about it. So I got to cut these pieces of paneling out and then get under the trailer and glue those suckers down. Warning. This video may contain scenes of extreme untidiness. Viewer discretion is advised. fruit knife from the Asian market, $1.99. These, these knives make great utility knives for things like cutting this insulation foam. The blades are thin, relatively stiff, and they're cheap. They also have these cool covers on them. So, uh, works out well. So why buy an expensive knife when you can use one of these? Works pretty good for me. I don't think that that's coming out. Even if I don't put brackets or even glue on it, I think that sucker would stay in there. So hopefully that'll hold it up. I'm gonna cut these other ones just slightly smaller so it's not so much work. Jeez. Now I'm gonna install some of these brackets and then use these self-tapping screws to hopefully be able to attach them to these. This is pretty thick stuff, so we'll see. So here we are on day two of this project. Uh, I just started out kind of late yesterday. I actually got a lot done, but uh, I started out late, so I didn't get the thing finished. But basically what I'm doing, I'm taking the foam, I'm cutting it to the shape I need, 
and then I'm sticking this uh, glue on the back of it and then just pushing it up here. Uh, the foil is on the downside on most of them. I messed up and made one on the blue side down over there, but that's fine. But uh, basically, I don't think that the foil is really going to do me a whole lot of good. It might reflect some of the heat from the outside, but um, there's foil on both sides of this. This just has a blue paint on it. So I'm going to be putting this one up in this slot right here, and then I screw it down with those self-tapping screws. Okay, and now that I've got that up there, I'm going to get my my jack and I'm going to put the some pressure on it and hold it up. You can see here there's some fiddly little bits, these corners that are harder to do. I do have my electrical in here. Um, so it's going to be a little hard to get the piece of insulation to go in. But basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put my insulation up like this, this spare chunk I have, and then I'm going to pound it with my fist, kind of try and make a line where everything lines up on it. Mostly there. Hopefully, make a spot. Hopefully, this will mark it well enough that I can cut a piece out of it. And here we are, starting on the back. And if you notice over there, the wire, com the wire comes across. So I'm having to cut smaller pieces to go under the wire portion. Otherwise, I can't get them in there. So I'm cutting the wire, this small piece, and then I'm putting the big piece in. Yeah. This uh, last piece here is going to be the most fun. It's got this brace here, um, and then it's got the legs. I'm probably just going to cut around the legs to make plenty of room for them because I don't want to have to deal with getting them in and out um, with foam all in the way. But I may have to, might have to notch this. I have cut it probably in two pieces that, that meet up here in the middle. I got these last two pieces cut out. I got a notch for that brace that goes underneath. I got a notch for the leg and I'm going to put the glue on here. I just want a good spread of glue across these so that I can get all the, make sure at least the edges and then um, a bunch in the center to kind of help out. But hopefully we'll get enough glue contacting it it'll stick. So there you go. The insulation is on the bottom of the trailer. So now our Tootsies should be nice and warm through the winter or as warm as I can hope to make them. So I've got the brackets on. I duct taped a few of the seams like this where they uh, where I had to split them apart. And I've got all, you know, got everything to hold it up. In a few spots I had to put in screws with washers, as you can see right here, um, to kind of just screw the center plates up where I couldn't get a bracket on. This beam right here is really thick because it's the tongue. So uh, until the next time, I hope you uh, have fun on your project and I hope this was informative. Please click my subscribe button, which will be over there somewhere, and maybe uh, check out one of my other videos, which will also be over there somewhere. Thank you for watching.